You're listening to Miscast Commentary. Hey everybody, welcome to Miscast Commentary. I am Joe Finley. I'm Todd Tebow, the Sailor Murray. And it is a coming attractions episode. We're going to talk about the week that was, except all the political shit, which means we're not going to talk about anything because nothing else fucking happened. Good night. <laughs> um... <laughs> No, little things so happen. How we'll was catch your up week? week. My week was weird. It was a weird week. First, I want to uh, send some love out to my mom, who was hospitalized this week. Not with the COVID, but thought the COVID, so they tested for the COVID, so I watched oh, the COVID God. test. And now I am more emotionally scarred than she was. Uh, but she the ended blood up... spray everywhere? No, there's no Did you hear it crunch, like when he grabs that thing in total recall? <laughs> She's like... Ugh. You know what it looked like? It looked less like a cotton swab and more like a, a really, really thin, like, wire brush for, like, like a straw or like something like that. Like one of those uh, things that you rip a mummy's brain out with. Not dissimilar. It's not as hooky. Right. But it was, uh, it ended up being fine, actually. Um, not as hooky, but just as looky. Have a cookie. Pat that, motherfucker. <laughs> I'd love one. Uh, I, I just know, had a... A, a, a coconut yeah. square. I'm definitely allergic to coconuts. Yeah. So, well, this should be fun. This is a countdown episode now, baby. Uh, we, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Counter so to anaphylactic shock. So, in oh, I don't have a button for that. All I have is this button. Oh, yeah. Fucking a. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> that's just for people who watch the ones where I'm gaming. That's just when I like fall ba like ass backwards into some kind of like Ga muck. even gaming again. Mm. Not well, but um, <laughs> I've been playing the odd thing here. And oh there. my lord! Um, but uh, what else did we do this week? We went. I took the kids to do some retro movie stuff because that's been available. Oh, and that's uh, part of the big news. Yeah, uh, we took them to see Hocus Pocus, and Hocus Pocus, damned if it didn't. Top the number box one office. at the box office again. That's hilarious. The drawing power mm -hmm. of Bette Midler, the Divine Miss M, yep. Kathy Najimi, yep. what? and I'm Sarah Jessica Parker. Three perfect pronunciations. I'm not going to fuck their names. Come on. No, that's respect. I mean, they're, like like Hocus Pocus, number yeah. one again? Come they're on now. And they're still coming out with Hocus Pocus, too. I, I like it's Christopher when. Noland. See? Hocus Pocus <laughs> be Tenet. Oh, you're not going to be happy about this because Christopher Nolan is doing Hocus Pocus, too. Oh, my God. It's going to be four hours. <laughs> and there's not going to be... An, and it's not even going to be about witches. Yeah, holy They're all spies. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, so that was... I took them to see that, and I took them back to back to see... Uh, uh, Harry Potter. It popped up right there. Boom. It's not an ad. Um, <laughs> it is now, <an> baby. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I took them to see Harry <clears throat> Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, which was also available. Are they showing the other ones? Uh, well, they have been, like, there's been other ones there. like, a random one? I think I think they've shown, like, one and two already. I don't really What else remember. they got going on there? Um, I don't remember everything else. Was, well, I actually don't know anything else was there because Carrie got the tickets. And I wonder stuff if they're going to get horror movies going on because it's Halloween. I'm sure they will. Uh, I'd love to go see The Thing yeah. in the theater. Yeah, the drive-in was weird. The drive-in had only one retro offering, and it was offering, um, it was Kung Fu Panda and The Great Outdoors. Mm. I like The Great Outdoors. I'm not waiting for just Kung Fu it. Panda. But yeah, it was just it was just a weird connect. I know they it's, should have some horrors going. I, they usually do uh, as you get into. I mean, this was the very very beginning of October. As you get into it, I wonder how many people were in the theater. Mm. Um, I think there were like four people in the in Hocus Pocus, and then there was like maybe ten in Harry Potter. Wow, like they're they making were, it back. Yeah, is it's, the popcorn cheaper? No, I don't think it's so. It's fucking bullshit. Well, I think the uh, it's more. Tickets are dirt cheap. The popcorn through the fucking roof. <laughs> That's how they recoup it. You Was bet. there like things on the seat so that people couldn't sit directly beside you? Like, like you oh. couldn't. You know what I mean? Oh, um, no. Or but, did they just see no. You, you book you, when you uh, book your seats. You uh, had to. Uh, yeah, when you book your seats, you had to like book certain areas, and now certain areas were blocked off for right. Um, so yeah, that was that bit. Um, they give you like a plastic thing to wear. Yeah, yeah, like it's a like a Gallagher you concert. Really see, yeah, like you're sneezing. It's all no. over the goddamn thing. No, it was it was well done in there. There was not a lot of bodies in there because not a lot of people want to go. I mean, it this is, is this is the best time to go. I have to go. Yeah. So it is. It's truly the best time to it's go. Like having your own movie there. theater. Yeah, like going to see Meet Wally Sparks in 1994. <laughs> 
How come nobody else is in this theater? Yeah, what the fuck? That was the best. Nobody else wants to For, meet Wally Sparks. No, I they, guess they didn't. I thought I thought this was uh, going to be David Ogden Steyer's like real break into film, <laughs> but instead he died shortly after. Uh, I'm shame. Yes. No way. The first twenty minutes, then we laugh my balls off. Oh god, it's freaking uh, Rodney and then Dangerfield. I came down and I was like, where am I? It's it's Rodney Dangerfield. Like I I'm pretty sure every. Oh sorry, I'm thinking. My five wives. Oh, it was amazing. No, I don't know when that oh, is. Oh my god, it stars the man Rodney Dangerfield, um, and as the title suggests, he has five count them five wives. <laughs> Hilarity ensues. I don't know that it ensues, but it does. It does. Okay. It enraptures. <laughs> what else happened? It's all Soviet news and Trump. That's been basically now. It. Trump's got Sovid. Sovid's got Trump. That's like a handheld in heaven. Yeah. Well, everybody, and it was funny because there's been so many <laughs> tweets about. It's really <laughs> weird how Republicans seem to be the only ones getting COVID. Is like, and then so they started accusing China of like targeting them, and it's like oh maybe my God. it's like weird. Mate, one group is saying, "Hey, follow the rules," and we're going to follow the rules too. And the other people are like, "Fuck the rules! Start Frenching your mom." <laughs> and then, and then, gee, well, I that should be okay. It should be fine because you're in the same household. Don't French someone else's yeah. mom. Oh, there's French your yeah. own mom. That's but, our Soviet ad. But that's yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Don't the forget. less you know, <laughs> yeah, the less you um, know. So mm-hmm. yeah, I, so th- we've been. Obviously dominated by that, which was obviously on purpose oh, it's because it's like dominated. I was like, oh, I sucked at the debates and I'm got caught for tax fraud and all this other stuff. I'm gonna fake having COVID <laughs> yeah. so everybody can fucking. No big deal. I did it. I'm a Superman. That's what they said. Everybody says they're always saying it all the time. You're a Superman. Yeah, doesn't make a big deal. Mm-hmm. Now I wanted to do something. We've talked about this briefly before, but we've never actually gotten into it. I wanted to read the crazy comments from our Raiders of the Lost Ark episode on YouTube. Oh, my God. We have not read those aloud yet to our... What about that lady? That's what I'm talking about. (laughs) Yes. This is the great... I think that this should be on a T-shirt. I'm going to figure out a way... The whole back of a shirt and then on the front, miscast commentary, keeping ladies happy. I'm going to figure out a way to do that. The person's name is Christine. That's all I've got. I love you, Christine. Marry me. I know. So... I know you had them all together. They are all together. They're just in reverse order because. <laughs> uh, but the uh, he, okay, wait. So first, you told me that we get our first like complaint, and yes. I was like, oh god, it could be about anything. Yeah, and I was because really we're... nervous. And then when you read it, I'm like, this is amazing. This is exactly what they should be this angry the, at us for. This is the best thing in the world. So, okay, I originally I was gonna go on Fiverr and hire like a. Um, hire like a voice actor to just read it like all annoyingly. But I, I got annoyed by looking at voice actors. So I just stopped dealing with it. So I'm just going to read it myself. Hey, those okay. voice actors are real fucking <clears throat> prima donnas. So this was actually sent two months ago, but here I'm going to read it now. Is that the, it's not in the right order. It's in reverse order. You have because to tell them what she's mad about first. Cause then you won't even know. It's going to be fine. Okay. I told you and you figured it out. So it's going to be just <laughs> fine. Um, yeah, basically, we must have made some comment, though, that Carrie Fisher in Star Wars was hotter than Karen Allen. I have no memory of it. <laughs> I have no memory of lots I, of shit I've done. If, I, if I'm really willing to do the work, it's going to be inserted right here in, like, the podcast version. She was actually considered for the role of Princess Leia and obviously did not get it. Which is probably why she was like thought about here. It's like, oh yeah, we ah. we talked to her, but she's got that kind of Leia at like that proper attitude. Like she would have been a good Leia. She would have been a good Leia. But I think they just wanted a slightly prettier person. Right. Okay. And so yeah, exactly. Okay. So here's what she said. Karen Allen was way more attractive, beautiful, and had a great lean body. But you think ugly, fat face, a fat, overweight <laughs> Carrie Fisher was more attractive. You both got such bad taste. Thank God the world disagrees with your bad taste and ugly standards of your idea of what is prettier. Yuck. <laughs> I think I nailed that. I think you did too. Okay. Now, this is my response. Our first negative comment. Yay. And let's be clear, we don't find Karen Allen unattractive. We kind of do. Uh, but it's the Slave Leia costume flying off the shelves for a reason. We love that you cared enough to comment, though. We don't spend too much of our time rating girls in movies, so it should be smooth sailing from here. Now, this response came at around the same time that I was 
sending this one, so it's just kind of a more stream of consciousness. She goes, maybe because you two guys are fat and ugly yourself, you don't know what real pretty is, what good looking is at all. And Indiana Jones never saved Marion, uh, saved Marion life. Marion saved Indiana Jones life. <laughs> Take that, motherfucker. <laughs> right? Mm. Braca. Okay. She saved his life. So now is her first response to what our response was. Yeah, right. Bullshit again, guys. Marion had long, extensive sex history with Indiana Jones since she was 15. Boom. As you mentioned, and you're being condescending after either saying this. And Indiana Jones was serious, injured, and exhausted. And you said that is why he needed sleep. Indiana Jones was hot for Marion's kisses and everything else. <laughs> that is why he had sex with her time and time again and conceived a son with Marion in the process and got married to, to Marion. Uh, <laughs> to Marion. <laughs> Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones even had sex with Marion here when he woke up during the night. And we all know we all know it is stop wasting you fat ass time talking shit. Indiana Jones never had sex with Willie. Only had sex with Elsa once so much. Uh, or so I would once. read. What? Read. Okay, I was trying. Had yeah, sex with, with the Elsa once, so more like their kissing put him to sleep. Oh, no, their kissing also ran him off. And then he dumped them all together. You guys are idiots with a vendetta <laughs> against Marion for no reason. <laughs> Is it because she's the real hot girl, Indiana Jones, and the rest of the world was hot for and loved the truth must really bother you, loser. No wonder nobody's watching you shit commentary. You loser slobs, don't quit your day job at the gas stations you both work at bitter narcissist crazies <laughs> i mean we may be fat disgusting shit commentary slobs mm -hmm. but we do not work at a gas station and there's nothing wrong with working at a gas station we could anyways. not get a job there yeah exactly because we would steal We're from the lazy tail. and fat <laughs> all right now todd i'll give it to you to uh, to put uh read the reply that was sent for that last that is absolutely amazing so it's just my, our reply oh, at the our reply is marry us <laughs> both of us yes we gotta move to utah and marry christine and she can just scream and scream bang us all the time <laughs> you fat ugly slums don't even and she's always dressed oh, like mary yes. in random. Scenes. i have a feeling that she's like german or something or like mm -hmm. scandinavian or i just love that i love the whole thing with like I don't know what she's trying to say here that maybe <laughs> because Indy and her had so much sex that she's way hotter. Uh, yeah. And yeah, I do have a vendetta against her though. That's for fucking, the only you know thing, that. The only thing that's missing is the word boinked. <laughs> <laughs> they boinked so hard, so many time, which <laughs> what? So, uh, who's Willie? Willie is the girl from, um, Temple of Doom. Ah, uh, okay, right. And oh, they here's the never thing. had sex with Willie, only had sex with Elsie. Yes, he did. Didn't he bang her in the room? Yeah, they said once. She said he did, only did it once, so more like the kissing put him to sleep. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, like, it's just... <laughs> see, that's the other thing. I There's, love this one. Christine, please call us. It's really, I love you. It's really hard to uh, read the sentences. So you go on the episode. It's episode 27. And you'll, you can read all the comments below. There's no punctuation, so it's really kind of difficult to <laughs> kind amazing. of like figure out. It's kind of like one of those old English, like when we were doing like those script writing things where we would like stream of consciousness and yep. then hand it off and just continue. Those were awesome. Those were really good. She probably handed it to her kids. Just, I'm too lazy. Here, you fry. Be mad at them. Yeah. I, I picture them for me. I picture it was Karen Allen and just having. Really oh like, my God. Drunk as fuck. Yeah. And her, her name is Christine when she goes on to uh, attack people who've clearly have a vendetta against her and have attacked her. <laughs> I'm with Karen Allen on this one. We're pieces of shit. And with Christine. I could have told you that before we got wow, these comments. Exactly. I knew that before we started a podcast. Uh, but oh, what a beautiful response. It was just, it made me so happy. So, I mean, if you want to say nice things about us, we'll accept those too. Uh, but, oh my God, if you really want our attention, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> just be so, mean to me. Yeah. So, uh, that was that. Yeah, slap and... me around. <laughs> and what have you had going on? This nothing. Week? Nothing? Okay, just great. Nothing happened. Nothing I see. Nothing. It was boring. It was fine, yeah. but it was boring. It was fine. You know, come boring. on. Playing some games. Yeah. Banging some dames. That last part's hey. not true. Uh, in the game. Banging some G games. 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 Game games. Game yeah. games. 
Dame games. Ooh, I like that. It's where you're either Judy Dench or Helen Mirren, <laughs> and you have to stop crimes. Um, Dame games. But they have to be, uh, if it's a game, they have to be, like, who can get the most collars, you know? Like, who can... Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they were they they work in the bad part of fucking Britain, <laughs> Britonia. It's bad. It's from. bad cop. Bad cop. Bad cop. Yeah. Nice. Who's even worse? We both. That'd be fucking awesome. I'm on board for this. I mean, like, <laughs> we may as well just do it. Oh, I came up with an idea for a video game. I think would fly. Oh, let's hear it. They, they can't copy this, right? <sighs> this is copyright. I'm going to tell you after this. Fuck that. Let's see. This is a good let's one. See. See, no, see, I'm not see. saying it on the air. All right, Fuck it, it's fine. too good. <laughs> we can't risk it, even though we exactly. can't code it. Um, yeah. No, you'll see this. So not a lot else Fuck going on. Uh, Eddie oh, Van my Halen. cat got put to sleep. That oh, sucked. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, that sucked. Uh, like, on purpose? He had no red... Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, he lost a bet. <laughs> he, sorry, d- he knows what he did. That's right. Mm. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that was, I'm assuming, sick of some kind. Yeah, he had, like, no red blood cells or something. He had some weird oh, disease. you need some of those. I would guess. Yeah. yeah. I'm guessing so. Ugh. He's acting all weird. He's, like, licking the carpet all the time. We were like, what the hell? He went down pretty quick, though. It was, like, a half a week. Oh, man. And it was like, boom. Really? Yeah. Oh. Well, I've got bad news. Enjoy life, baby. The way my son acts, then I guess I'm going to have to put him down this way. <laughs> <laughs> so he's licking the carpet just like his old man. Uh, yeah. Oh, I get it. Because of vaginas. Ew. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, but we did, we did lose somebody else as well. We lost, uh, the, oh, Eddie Van Halen. Yeah, uh, I was trying to like lead in with wild stallions <laughs> inspiration. Sorry about that. But it's all good. But Eddie I Van Halen. I listened to Eddie Van Halen today. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I listened to a Van Halen song. Just mm-hmm. one. It was mm-hmm. actually the one without him on it. Ooh, that's, but I guess it still kind of counts. Yeah. Cause his name's still there. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, the big bummer. I, I actually am Is that shocked. they pushed a bond back again? Yes. Well, they pushed everything back. Oh, fuck. Um, but no, I, I didn't know that he did the guitar solo for Beat It. Yeah, oh, totally. I didn't know oh, yeah. that. So this was me learning something, and he did it for free, and he did it in one take. Wow. Because he's fucking Eddie Van Halen. And he did it for free? Why? Yeah. I don't know. He probably, probably just got more money than God. Hook me up, Quincy. He probably just did his... He probably just came in. Yeah. Probably didn't even know he was there. He just yeah. saw a guitar and he's like, I got to pick it up and shred so it knows I own it. Did he have cancer? Uh, I don't know what he I died of, to be honest. Cancer. Uh, yeah, I, I, I kept seeing things. Usually it says right in like the, the headline because that's as far as I go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. And then I make up all my own. <laughs> yeah. Draw my own conclusions. Yeah, exactly. So Trump caught COVID from a dinosaur. Oh my God. No, no, they don't exist. He doesn't believe in them. But yeah, um, speaking of dinosaurs and speaking, you talked about things being pushed back. Um, Every movie got pushed back. Uh, Everything. Jurassic World 3, Jurassic Park 6, whatever you want to call it, Mm -hmm. because everybody's Mm -hmm. in it, uh, just got pushed back. Oh, yeah, that's right. They are all in it. That got pushed back to 2022 because they just had a bunch of uh, positive COVID tests. The um, dinosaurs. The bo- CG dinosaur had fucking yeah. Soviet. Uh, Black Adam got so pushed like back. Dick in the machine again. Yeah. What, what else got pushed back? Black like, Adam. They're Bla- making that one. Yeah. Let's well, already. Oh, did. I thought it, I didn't know it was like in production. Mm-hmm. Ooh. So yeah, like oh. everything got pushed back. The only thing that got brought forward was the Matrix. Ooh. The Matrix Four got brought forward. We need it. I know. We do. Because there's nothing I don't more. Know what the hell it's going to be? I don't know. Nothing would be more satisfying than to find out that this is all a simulation. Oh my god! You just wake up in that tube, you're like, oh, Didn't thank he win? god. Well, yeah, where is this a prequel? Who knows? We're going to see. Apparently, I have it's got no some idea. whacked out, crazy mm-hmm. action. Yeah, I'll be interested to see what. Fuck got yeah, I'll go. I got out. nothing better to do. Yeah. What am I doing? They also said um, they said that 2021, late 2021 and 2022 are going to be jam packed with the super oh my god the movies are gonna be nuts it's going to be like like it'll be like crazy at the old cineplex it's movie tron like every movie will make money but nothing's gonna make the kind of money that it could have made like last year yeah well because, because they're gonna be crammed together because yeah it's gonna be you're gonna be up against like 10 number one movies every week i wonder so. if we're seeing the death of the 200 million dollar movie I wonder if I this know. is going to do it. I think when things thin out, I think that that'll probably jump back up again. What the fuck? When are the friggin... I, I can't... You know, I got a friggin' season pass for Wonderland burning yeah. a hole. Mm-hmm. 
well, in it's, my pocket. Well, it's it, it's already good for next year, so. I know, and then it'll be good for the next year, and then they'll be yeah. like, hey, sorry, the park is under. Yeah. Well, that I just happened ya. because um, I also have passes for the uh, science center, which I was given at work, which was nice. And it was a year they pass. They dust all over them. There was like a big old spider on it. Like, yeah. oh, science. Rah. No, but the... Uh, they obviously closed down for COVID like everything else did. And they were actually supposed to reopen this weekend. We weren't going to go, but it was supposed to reopen. And then this is when, cause they basically just put a hold on our pass and they're right. like, they're like, it'll be good starting again when, so it's like, it's just been extended for how long we've been off and they were going to open back up. But then all the restrictions got knocked back down. So what a world, what a world indeed. You know what See I mean? See this Steven Spielberg face. He looks like if somebody beat the living shit out of oh. David Duchovny. Duchovny. What the fuck? Oh, he's old. <laughs> he totally does. You know what he looks like? He looks like a CG Gary Shandling. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. there's there's YouTube videos up along uh, the side of where I was reading the titties. comments. Uh, there's a lot of titties. Actually, that's a thing. It's all pornography with uh, celebrities' faces superimposed onto the porn stars' bodies. Yeah. But even like aw- awkward. Very. Yeah. You know, just like it's the same face. They're turned around. They're moving, flipping. <laughs> Face is still staring at you right in the fucking eyes. Can't stop. Can't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. A little bit of news for people who don't know. So um, if you're listening on your favorite podcast platform and whatnot, if you're on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, even Amazon Music, which we're available on now. Sweet. Um, then this probably doesn't even matter to you. But we have moved our uh, host again from <laughs> Libsyn to sounder.fm. This couch hop and we give a fuck. So you go to miscast-commentary.sounder.fm. Uh, you will find our pages there. But what's interesting about there, you'll get, we'll put a link to it up on our Twitter too. But what's interesting there is you can, in any episode, you can type in their player, you can type any words, and it will search the transcript of our episode Whoa. for that spot. So if you're looking for, if you see we're doing a mo- like we're doing Indiana Jones, Pretty and you cool. want to find out when we're talking about Carrie Fisher, you can type in Carrie Fisher, and it'll jump right to and where we said it, and it'll show you where it is. That's fucking awesome in the episode. So you can Who check types all that shit out. It's all uh, AI shit, like a computer. Robots are doing it. Sweet. Hope it's so- all fucked up. Oh, I'm sure it's like that robot that writes screenplays. <laughs> like you give it a couple things and it'll write a screenplay for you. For Keaton Patty, <laughs> that's things are amazing. That's, he's just yeah. the best goddamn things. He's so good. Uh, but he, um, he, but yeah, it's uh, so that's available there. But what has come with that is that we are also now launching binge watchers on the wall as a separate podcast feed. Sweet. So it will no longer be a part of this same feed as miscast commentary it will be off on its own so you can search it you can subscribe to it and it will come in its own new episodes and we're relaunching it starting on sunday the 11th uh so it will start from episode one again on there and you can subscribe to that there uh, should be a thing where you can like change the pitch of our voices well we can do there that. as well you can speed it up so technically i guess you that's could. pretty cool yeah so that's something go really low with one of them yeah the other oh uh, no that won't oh, work yeah that's just that'll but, be the future mm-hmm. get off the park yeah. and watch this so yeah so anyways though starting sunday though you'll be able to get uh binge watchers on the wall actually my uh my osteopath massage therapist today already has committed to watching it oh wow <laughs> she's like oh my god you do a game of Thrones podcast like crying. she um, she he yeah. you you were crying i was crying and she's like, felt bad for you. So she's like, okay, I'll watch your podcast. Yeah. And she's like, you got a podcast or something? I'm like, I'm on three. <laughs> and she's like, ooh, I like that. Yeah. <sighs> but my I back like is- that we're on the music one because our voices, yeah. even though we're not singing, counts as music. It does. It lulls old people and babies to sleep. <laughs> it lets people who, who can't, you know, live, live. Or that- vice versa. Yes. If they don't want to live, boom, they're like, okay, thank you. Now they're pushing no me over the edge. Yes. We're everything for every people. We're nothing for Like nobody. Whitney said, we are every woman. <laughs> it's all in me. Could you kind imagine? You open, baby. Could Woo. you imagine if like some like old white Republican used that as like, why do you think you can make a choice on like how women treat <laughs> their own be. bodies? And he goes, because I'm everything. And he's like, so he's sweet. doing it on TikTok or something like that. He's lip syncing. <laughs> you don't have to be at like his concert. Like, I oh feel my like God, his, his running mate is RuPaul. Oh, he'd win. 
Uh, <laughs> I might, I might no, break but, into but even though, even though he's totally against everything, like yeah, he's not uh, about you know giving women uh, oh. uh, their whatever's for free. He's super racist. He's super yeah, he's misogynist. Just, he he's like that song. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I was like, woo! Yeah. Like, <laughs> all right, um, <laughs> it's time to talk about what we're going to do next week. So uh, we started yeah. off uh, October with some garbage pail kids. <laughs> We got we got we got spook we didn't get spooky aptly we got, titled aptly titled yeah. film we we did uh, we didn't get spooky to start it off we got creepy for best for lack of a better word <laughs> creepy but yeah you'll be creepy see these fucking little creepers let's start to freak people out a little bit more we're easing in to the season you dip your toe in before you go all in next week we bring to you arachnophobia oh, are you afraid of Ooh. That's what that means. The, Ooh, I was going to do like a knife, and then I'm like, "Oh no, it's a spider." <laughs> 3D. So arachnophobia next week. You into the you into the spiders? You not into the spiders? Well, let's find out when we listen to the trailer. <laughs> The Jennings family has just moved to the small town of Kanaim. Oh, Ross, smell that air. Oh, God. In search of a simpler life. Want to blow up a bullfrog? Okay. It's the perfect place. Goodbye crime, goodbye grime. Except for one pesty little problem. Come with me and look at the web. The web? I have a terrible fear of spiders. Come on, we live in the country now. It's time to work through this irrational, paralyzing terror. It's not irrational. <laughs> Hollywood Pictures and Amblin Entertainment present Jeff Daniels. Honey, we're in the living room. We need you to kill a spider. And John Goodman. Bill McClintock, infestation management. Ooh, that guy's just a spider. Would anybody object if I tore this floor out? I would. False alarm, then leave on. There's no spider here. Every so often in a little town somewhere, there is a health scare. There's a rumor going around that some kind of spider might have killed Sam Metcalf. Doubtful. Spiders make convenient culprits. <laughs> There's no spider here. I think one of your Venezuelan spiders hitched a ride here. There may be some spiders around here that are very dangerous. Dad, chill out. Just run. Oh! They spread out from a central nest in a web-like pattern and dominate the entire area. When that happens, this town is dead. Better in court by private stock. Rock and roll! Hollywood Pictures and Amblin Entertainment present Arachnophobia, Eight Legs, Two Fangs, and an Attitude. Perk up, Lloyd. If we find the spider that did this, you can arrest him. Arachnophobia, a thrill comedy. That's right, a thrill comedy. That's guys. exactly what I was like. Wow! Can you believe it? Thriller comedy. Oh, it's. I love when she's like, "Just get over your irrational fear of spiders." And when he goes up there, the entire goddamn room is a spider web. I, I think know. anybody who would have a rational fear uh, of somebody burping in your mouth is stupid. Yeah. I'd rather they didn't do that. One day you're going to just say COVID because. I You're just gonna get it bored. Last week, and I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> I don't get bored. <laughs> All right, uh, I think this is good a place to end this one I because agree. we got more work to do. You fucking, ain't. I gotta take we, my sweater. It's gonna hot. I know. So we are actually. If you're on stream with us, see, this is a, if you're on stream with us, you're now going to catch some bonus shit because we are going to be recording our commentary episodes and we're going to be staying on. This the is air. how you get the fucking ratings. This is how you do it. Take my fucking so, clothes off. There you go. Mm, so, oh, my bottom one's coming off. Man. Oh, God. The titty came out. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So. Listen to my chips down. <laughs> okay, just bring them down, please. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, so, we're going to end this one, and we got some more recording to do. We damn sure do. Uh, as always. We got a night here, people. We got a night. <laughs> as always, find us at uh, miscastcommentary.com. Email us podcast at, at miscastcommentary.com. Uh, find us wherever podcasts exist if you're watching this in video form. Uh, and. All those good things. Find us on Twitter at Miscast Podcast. I'm at JK Finley. Todd's at Miscast Todd. All the things have been popping up. If you're watching on the stream, they've been popping up over there the whole time. So you'll be able to see all of that. Uh, until next week, we'll see you later.
Later. This has been Miscast Commentary with your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Executive producer, Joe Finley. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for all news related to the podcast. Miscast Commentary is a Miscast Media Production.